Okay, so here's a demonstration of the filament buddy. So you're gonna put your filament into the filament buddy very easily. This one is the zero, uh, I mean the 1.75 millimeter filament one. So you're gonna input it like so, right? And then you're gonna get a knife like this. This I guess is a box cutter. And then you're gonna score it like so. Uh, and then I uh, would recommend you uh, would I, I recommend you do this with two hands because this is very difficult with one hand. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna push it against the side. I mean, uh, it has two sides, like a right side and a left side. I prefer to use the left side, right? Because I'm right-handed. Uh, you're gonna push it against the left side, right? Like that. Uh, I mean, I'm right-handed, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then you're gonna cut a, uh, a, a, a marking into it. Well, this is not going that smoothly because I'm not using two hands. So I'm gonna repeat this three times. Once you have repeated this three times, you're gonna pull the filament out and then you're gonna insert it into here and then you're gonna make sure that the first marking is right up against this part right okay then you're gonna extrude 100 millimeters it's gonna extrude after you've done that you just before you pull it out okay while it's still hot you just make a marking right like so and then you see here it's marked you pull the filament back out you put it back in and then here comes the measuring you line it up again the first one the the first marking you line it up again with the first one on the left side or the side which you prefer to put your markings on so you're gonna line it up. You're gonna grab your calipers. And then, oh, hey, look at this. My uh, filament has under extruded. Uh-oh. So yeah, you can easily see how much. Like, oh, hey, look at this. I have under extruded by about um, 18 millimeters, it seems. <laughs> Well, this is not my real <laughs> calibration, of course, but this shows you how easy it is. Because sometimes you just get frustrated and fed up with the filament being not straight, right? And then it, it, it's not easy to do that, especially not on a bottom system or when your um, filament is not top mounted like some other machines. So this is a very easy method to use. And it also is very accurate if you use it properly. So yeah, the filament buddy, I hope you will use it very wisely and it is very easy to use. So here you see these indentations. And here's the filament hole. It's very, it holds on tight. It doesn't really move out. It can sometimes rotate a bit, but some, mo most of the times it won't, because uh, I have a 0 0.1. Uh, it's, it's a 0 0.1 uh, Wow, I don't even know what to call it again. I'm probably gonna cut it out, but I might just keep this part in for comedic purposes. Well, I hope you uh, found this guide for the filament buddy useful, and I hope you have fun 3D printing and now having accurate e-steps. You're welcome.